Brandon, on the floor of ITSEC 2016, uh, every year I come out here, there are some elegant ideas for not only opening up the envelope of simulation, but making it more portable, more easy to use, more cost effective. And obviously, uh, a combination of technologies to include VR seems to be the natural evolution of where everything is going. Tell us what Talon's doing. Well, Talon Simulation specializes in immersive and affordable virtual reality experiences. So we do want to capitalize on the fact of reducing the cost and footprint of these training systems while making them more immersive and realistic. The way we do that is integrating these new virtual reality headsets with professional training software and a two degree of freedom motion simulator. And the motion simulator itself was developed by a company in England. They're called Atomic Motion Systems and we're their North and South American distributor. And then we do final assembly and integration of these full systems for our customers. Well, you have a number of different elements all contributing to the simulation environment here. If you can just enumerate what's here and how that culminates into a more realistic environment for flight training. So the virtual reality headset allows you to have 360 degree views. It's HD and it's 3D. So it actually looks like you're in the cockpit and we add the motion cueing, which integrates with the acceleration forces to add that next level of immersion. So not only does it help convince you that you actually are flying, but it reduces some of the sickness onset by virtual reality. When you're flying around and you don't feel your inner ear moving, that creates a lot of motion sickness. So with the accurate and precise motion cueing that we integrate, we're actually allowing people to train for longer periods of time in virtual reality. Where do you see your market for this? Well, this is actually our third year out here at ITSEC, and so we were, had our first prototype, which we developed as mechanical engineers at the University of Central Florida out here two years ago to really see where the market was. And we got a lot of great feedback from Air Force pilots, uh, helicopter pilots, as well as uh, private pilots. So we, our original assumptions were this is a great private pilot training tool because it is cost effective for training centers. We ended up working with military contractors, not only on aerial vehicles, but ground vehicles as well. So luckily with virtual reality, it's pretty simple to change out your scenario as well as the vehicle, and we can adapt the motion platform to different vehicles as well. So it's actually getting a pool from a lot of different segments that more than we thought. This is everything you see. The simulator, it needs one power outlet, and it's USB to the computer and then the computer runs the software, you attach the VR headset, and then we have a TV for the operator station, and that's all you need. The simulator also has two wheels on it, so you can roll it around wherever you need, less than 100 pounds, so it's great to bring around to events or different training facilities. What implementations have you seen so far in the real world? Well, driver training, we have a professional young driver training platform. We also have worked with Radon on their common driver training, so it's more of a convoy system. We've now integrated with VBS3 and Bohemia Interactive Software, so they actually have this integrator in their booth to show a striker and a gunner, so you can actually have them network together. And uh, we are even working in the entertainment industry. We have four fighter jets set up at the San Diego Air and Space Museum for people to come in and utilize it. So we really want to be able to target both of those industries. You know, virtual reality has a lot of applications and we're going out there and we hope to allow people to have a lot of fun, but also have some serious training that's effective in the long run. Aero TV is brought to you by. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero.